Hey folks, welcome back to The Odds Couple. Sid Rosenberg and Mark Lawrence. We're back now to give you our best bets for this weekend's divisional round. Mark, you're going back to the well once again with the Ravens. Last week, they got you the victory up in New England. Once again, the Ravens, a healthy underdog here. You like that pick. I like that pick, Sid. You know the old saying, it ain't broke, don't fix it. It ain't broke with the Baltimore Ravens right now. I made this statement last week, and I'll contend with again this week here, that they're the one team that nobody wants to play in the playoffs. It's because of their defense and the fact that their offense is clicking as well right now. You take a look at John Harbaugh, the head coach here. He's been murder, and I mean murder, against teams that are off a loss in his career. How about 14-1 and one to the spread wow. doing just that? Okay, that's the role he'll be in this particular week. And we talked about the Colts earlier in the first segment of the show here, the fact that they're not playing well. They have holes in their offense. They don't run the ball. They don't stop the run here. I think it's a ball control offense for Baltimore here in a defense deluxe. I'll take the Ravens plus the points for my play. Let me play devil's advocate. Sure. You're the pro here, trust me. I, I readily admit that each and every week. Their quarterback, I spoke to Anita Marks in Baltimore this week. She's the afternoon drive time host at the flagship station for the Ravens. He can barely get out of bed. His hip and his shoulder is so bad. Last week, don't forget the Ravens won. Flacco was 4 out of 10 for 34 yards and an interception. My point is, if this game comes down to a fourth quarter, Joe Flacco can't win this game. He's too beat up. Does that make you nervous here, or do you think that Ray Rice and those guys and that defense is enough? It concerns me. There's no question about that because you want to have your quarterback healthy, obviously going into a football game here. They're going to rely on the rushing offense, and they're going to rely on that defense, and God forbid if they fall behind in the football game because Flacco might not be available right. to, to rally them back here. So you know, the bottom line here is I'm playing the stats, and I'm playing the fact that I think I believe that Flacco will be at the end of the football game here, but it's all about running. It's all about stopping the run and defense. Baltimore's third-ranked defense gets me. All right, they're a hot team, too, no question about it. For me, I'm going to go to another hot team, and I'm going to go against them. That's the, really the story of the postseason here, and that is the upstart New York football Jets getting a touchdown in San Diego. It's been a great run, but San Diego is not Cincinnati. I, you know, Cincinnati was the worst team in the playoffs. I'm convinced. You know, Revis shuts down Ocho Cinco, and I know said Benson had a nice game last week, but Cincinnati's got nothing to offer. San Diego, you can't shut down one guy. If Revis shuts down Vincent Jackson, Watch out for Antonio Gates. Watch out for the other guys in that offense, Floyd. And Phillip Rivers right now is light years better than Carson Palmer. The Jets are a great story. They can run the football. We know that. They're a very, very good defense. But the Chargers have too many weapons. They come into this game riding an 11-game winning streak. <laughs> and it would not surprise me if this time around, North Turner and Phillip Rivers are playing in Miami in a couple of weeks. The Jets are a good story. The Chargers, they're a great story. I like the Chargers minus the points. Sid, a little known fact here about Norv Turner here. While everybody wants to beat up on this guy, come playoff time, he's murder. He's 6-1 and one to the spread in the playoffs. 3-0, and oh, never lost a game at home, straight up into the spread. Is that playoffs. right? That's right. I did not know that. Yes. I know he's had success against Peyton Manning, too. So yeah, exactly. You would imagine the Jets would be uh, perfect for him this yes. weekend. That's a good stat right there, 6-1 and one and 3-0. and oh. So there you have it on the way out. Mark Lawrence likes the Ravens. I like the Chargers. That will do it for the NFL edition of The Odds Couple. For my dear friend Mark Lawrence, I'm Sid Rosenberg. Good luck, everybody. Win your football games this weekend, and we'll see you next week right here on The Odds Couple.